Right, welcome back everybody. Coming to you from Mpumalanga, that's our camera that's outside uh, in the Mbombela Stadium and that's exactly where we're broadcasting from in Nelspruit this morning. We are in an auditorium at the stadium and uh, we've got some awesome supporters here, I have to say. They're having a ball here this morning, uh, talking amongst each other, trying to convince each other who to vote for and who not to vote for and uh, the reality is, is that these parties are on fire and they are here to answer the questions now because that's where we are now at in this broadcast. We've had the opportunity to listen to all of the political parties, some of them taking that uh, opportunity to sell their parties and others unfortunately not, rather just sort of uh, criticizing the ANC or answering other questions that the panelists raised. So that was there last time, but maybe they can make up for it now during this Q&A session. Now we've got some uh, people that are already taken to the sides where the microphones are. We're gonna ask the questions after all of these questions have been asked. I'm then gonna turn to the panelists here and you guys are going to answer the question that's been posed to you. So when you ask your question, and I mean ask one question, don't let it be an electioneering question to your political party. Let's make this question count. There are issues in this province. There are jobs that are needed. Unemployment, schooling, crime is bad, corruption is bad. Let's talk to real issues, not to electioneering, okay? We've done that already. So we're gonna start on this side, keep your questions short, and then we'll answer everything afterwards. Let's go, sir, up to you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Peggy Lubisi from the ANC. My question goes to Comrade uh, Fish Mashalela, who is representing the African National Congress. Uh, my question will be, noting that uh, the uh, SEZ has been approved in Komazi uh, worth seven billion, I want to understand from the member to share with us what plans does the ruling party have to ensure enterprise development among youth-owned entities but secondly, also the issue of a reduction of youth unemployment in the province. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you very much. All right, we're going to carry on now. I see it's, uh, please, thank you very much. Uh, let's get the next question. Okay. Are we going to that side, actually? No, apparently we're going from side to side. So I see a DA member there. Please, will you ask your question? Thank you. I think it will come to a shock to our president to learn that the municipalities run by the ANC is collapsing one by one. My question will be to the Democratic Alliance. What will the DA do differently in running our municipalities? Thank you. Thank you. Next question. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Bennett Tobela from the ACDP, the youth leader of the province. Uh, my question is directed to uh, Jeff Anderson, uh, who's the, the media liaison of the province under the ACDP. Uh, my question is based on the land. What is the position of the ACDP on the land question? And should it be that the ACDP agrees or disagrees? Good. What is going to happen to the jobs that we, ha we have now currently? Because the tenderpreneurs of the ANC could not even provide jobs for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Land and jobs for ACDP. <laughs> Next uh, question, please. I'm um, greeting the viewers at home. No, no, no. No, it's 1-1, one, one, guys. Hang on, hang on. Next question. I'm greeting the viewers at home. My name is Temba Zulu. I have the question that is directed to the land theft. And uh, I'm very happy about the little bit fake information that you have given us. But my question is, when are you going to leave BLF alone? When are you going to stay away from us? Thank you. <laughs> Was that for the Freedom Front? Okay, when are we gonna leave the, when are you going to leave the uh, BLF alone? All right. <laughs> Next, oh, my name we've is already had a question from the DA. We've had a question from the DA, let's, let's get other political parties in. So hang on, we'll have another round of questions. We'll have another round of questions. Yeah. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Esther Matlake. Uh, my question directed to uh, Bra Lida. How are, you go, how are you planning to solve the water crisis in Bushback Ridge? Thank you. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. My name is Hudson Bogoda. I'm a member of Riawasa. My question is directed to the Secretary General of Riawasa. Though, though the Bra has asked again about water, but I want you 
to emphasize further as to how are you going to solve the issue of water. Since we know that water is, we do have water, but the issue is that the ruling party is using their businesses to provide water to us through water tanks. How are you going to solve this problem? Okay, thank you very much. Let's go to EFF <coughs> on that thank side. You, thank you very much. My name is Vusi Kwebu. Uh, I'm a parent and a chairperson uh, of the SGB. Uh, I've, got, I've got a question directed uh, to the provincial chairperson, uh, Collins Edibe, uh, 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 in terms of school's nutrition. I understand that our students used to receive uh, fruits and vegetables in schools as part of their nutrition. But nowadays it has ceased so because of corruption. So I want to check, Uguti, as the EFF, how do you plan on dealing with corrupt officials and how do you plan on dealing with corrupt politicians, especially those ones that are involved in, in, in with, with other political parties, uh, Abo Mashile and the likes, because we know that they are criminals and corrupt. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. okay not the DA yet, not the DA. If, you're, if your party hasn't spoken, please come. Ako hasn't spoken? All right, next question, let's go. Okay. My name is Abed Mashiro. Quiet, quiet, everyone. So I want to ask the question to Mr. Peter Makubela. Or what is the plan for Forum for Service Delivery to eradicate poverty? Another one, what are you going to do with the issue of public works? Because each and every day we saw them sleeping on the street. What is your plan when you go into the government? And another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. Thank you. UDM, let's go. Next question. Oh, thank you. Good morning. My name is Dr. Chovela. So I, I want to ask uh, uh, James Lamin uh, that uh, what is their, their, their plan uh, now when they, they take over in South Africa after vote uh, concerning unemployment? All right, unemployment, UDM, thank you. Um, African Covenant, let's go. I'm Pastor John Mashele. My question goes to Dr. Kon Vibaloi Ako. I want to know about your plan regarding to global warming and land reform. Good. Global warming, land reform. Okay, next question on that side. Oh, yes. My name is Sipo Mabusela from Ecoforum. My question is directed to Dr. Sibia. You uh, indicated that you will be looking into three strategic pillars for economic development. Can you unpack that for us, please? Thank you. All right, Eco Forum. DA, we've done you. Um, who hasn't had a chance from a political party to ask a yeah. question yet? Hi, <coughs> Leanne, thanks very much. As the Honorable uh, presiding for this event, I want to ask the steward from African Covenant uh, Stuart uh, Baloy uh, to unpack about the, the tax reform and how it's going to impact in relation to the job creation. Hang on, I, and, guys, uh, hang, on hang on, I can't hear. I can't hear. One question. Have they already asked a question? No. You've asked your question, so stand to the side. Stand to the side. Next round of questions you will ask. We're trying to be as fair as possible. I think that's the Freedom Front class. All right, go Good. for it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'd like to ask a question to the Freedom Front. Um, why is the municipalities uh, going down at the moment? Why is the municipalities uh, has problems and there's no money in the municipalities? There's only Freedom Front. Thank you. Okay. All right. So. Everyone on that side has, one second, has everyone asked their question from a political party? So you're all done. Okay, time to answer the questions. Then we will have another round of questions. So let's begin, let's begin. So um, ANC, your question uh, was around uh, dignity. Uh, well, talk to us about, talk to us about your, your, uh, your, your question that you were asked. No, thanks very much, Lian. Uh, 
we've we've as a province and as a country identified Nkomaz as one of the poorest area in Pumalanga. Hence, we've come with this intervention of a special economic zone, which will be a game changer in making sure that we create jobs for our people and huge investment that takes place at the end of the day. That's the reality of the situation. Uh, we Fish, carry on. Carry on answering your question. I'm, I'm not Please, going everyone. to compete with you, unfortunately, because I'm because I'm, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. Now, the reality of the situation is that as a government, we are intervening. It's a reality that there is... Let him answer. It's a reality that answer. there is a special economic zone Guys. that has been approved by national government for Gomazi in the province which will be a game changer and make sure that it creates job opportunities for our people, in particular young people. We are in a process as part of our manifesto. Our manifesto is a coherent plan which is aimed at massively dealing with the problem of employment of young people. We are going to massively increase internship and apprenticeships for young people we are going to skill and train our young people so that they are ready to be absorbed by the economy they are able to create job opportunities for themselves so that they become entrepreneur in the in the long run and create jobs for our people okay we are going to every year create 275,000 job opportunities for all South Africans. And that's a reality of the situation. We are going to make sure that we, we, we build an economy that is... Guys, please, please. All right. Okay. 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 Everybody, a question has been answered. Fish is trying to answer it. Hang on, sir. Hang on, hang on, hang on. She's not speaking. Okay, okay. She's not speaking. Your, your representative is speaking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Okay, 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 okay. All right, calm down, calm down. Everybody, calm down. We're all going to have a chance. Everybody's going to have a chance. Hang on, she's not even speaking. So hang on, hang on. Okay, all right. Let us please give the respect. Just finish your point. Fish, please finish your point. Finish your point. No, no, thank I'm going to sit next to you so you keep quiet. Shh, shh. Fish finished. No, our, our plan is, is, is based on the stimulus package that has just been adopted by government. It is also informed by the presidential summit, which is aimed at first and foremost protecting the current job and make sure that we create new decent jobs for our people. We'll make sure that the, 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 the fresh produce that the DA spoke about, okay. there will be recently launching of a, a milk production which is going to take place and that is going to, to, to produce okay. more than 1,000 okay. of milk in the province that will be made available All right. so the, the fresh okay. project okay. will be up and running in the near future there's nothing that we're saying is not going to take place it is going to take place but fundamental to all of this Leon, critically is building a capable developmental state which will enable to make sure that we intervene in the economy, we are able to make sure that we deal with the issue of collection of revenue, improve financial audit, and make sure that okay. we deal with corruption at every level so that we make sure that service goes to our people at the All end right, of the day.
I'm going to leave it there. We've given the ANC more than enough time to answer our questions. Let's take a quick break. We'll continue to get the answers after this. Do stay tuned.